Hello, my name is Carly Stevens. I write young adult fantasy and sometimes dark academia, and this is Carly Stevens Books. So the season of holidays is upon us, and I know if you are uh, a, a writer, then it can be difficult to keep up maybe the momentum that you gained during NaNoWriMo. So here are several suggestions about how to further your author career and goals, even if you only have 10 minutes to do that. So I'll start with some things that everybody can do and progressively they'll get more involved. So if you are somebody who already has several published books out, then maybe the last one will be for you. But anybody at all can do the first uh, few just to get yourself writing and get yourself um, doing things that will positively impact your author career in the long run. So number one is to outline the next scene. Maybe you don't have time to write the entire next scene of your story, but outline it you know just give yourself some notes about what is going to happen when you sit down now i know some people are plotters some people are pantsers but i think anybody can appreciate all right in this next scene only what's going to happen i love putting brackets to describe things that are upcoming and so i can just you know dump out my brain and say all right when i have the time i will get back to this idea and then I'll just erase the brackets when when I'm done. Okay, number two is to create a social media post. Most of us are on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or wherever it is that you are as a writer or even as yourself. So take 10 minutes and create a post that spreads awareness of yourself as a writer or talks about what you're reading or something like that. Um, often that takes even less than 10 minutes, which is great. Um, number three is to watch a YouTube video about craft marketing or publishing. There are lots of great YouTube channels out there that go deep into all of those topics. So I would recommend that um, one other way to use those 10 minutes is to create a playlist for yourself of shorter videos so that when you have a moment, you can learn something and increase your ability to write and publish effectively. Next is to listen to a podcast. I am a huge fan of podcasts and audio in general, um, audio books and just audio media. So if you're like me and you love a podcast, then spend 10 minutes listening to an author podcast. A couple of recommendations I would say are um, writing excuses, that's always at the top of my list. Brandon Sanderson, um, Mary Robinette Kowal, and others gather together and talk about one particular topic. Mostly it's, um, oh wow, the sun just went behind a cloud. <laughs> uh, mostly it's fantasy inspired, but it's helpful for anybody. And they've covered so many topics over the years that surely you can find something that is useful. And there's the, there's the sun again. Um, another nice thing about writing excuses is that they're only about 10, I'm sorry, 15 minutes long. So maybe a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but I don't regret suggesting it. Another podcast that is very useful on the craft side is helping writers become authors. And that one often has short episodes as well. They tend to be deep dives. So if you want a deep dive into craft, then that is a great place to go. Um, number five is to just do a quick writing sprint. Maybe you can write 100 words in 10 minutes, but that's 100 words that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So if you have something in the oven, if you are finished with one assignment and about to start another one, then you can set a timer for 10 minutes and just do a really, really quick sprint. I mean, that adds up over time, right? If you're only able to do a 10 minute writing sprint, every other day in December because things are so crazy, that is, that ends up being a lot of words by the end of the month that you wouldn't have otherwise had. Um, number six is to journal. So 
I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of irons in the fire in terms of my author career. So sometimes it helps just to journal out my thoughts, create to-do lists, just write out everything that I'm thinking so that I can see it and wrap my head around it more fully, either story ideas or marketing or, or what have you. So um, if you are a journaler, then 10 minutes is uh, just a good amount of time to at least start that process. Um, and then number seven, interact on social media. So don't just post, but make sure that you're commenting, that you're liking things, that you're talking to people, sending messages, and becoming more of a community. I know that I could be better at this than I am. I tend to have so many things that I'm just creating content for that that's where my focus tends to be rather than interacting with other people who are either enjoying my stuff or creating similar things. So that is, again, another way to use 10 minutes that will bolster your connections and friendships and potentially potentially sales in the future as well. Okay, next are a few that are more for authors that have a bit more of a platform. So you can, in 10 minutes, check your email and get back to people who have responded to you or who have requests, things like that. So if you have an author email, then check it, make sure that uh, you're getting back to people. Um, if you have an author website, next one is to update the website. Obviously, you can't update an entire website in 10 minutes, but maybe you can just make sure that one element is current, or you can make sure that your latest release is highlighted on the front, or something like that, or create a blog post or the beginning of a blog post for uh, your website, depending on how you like to use that um, for your career. Speaking of author platform stuff, if you have a website, chances are you have a newsletter as well. It tends to take me longer than 10 minutes to write a newsletter, <laughs> especially some of the heavy hitters that I've been writing lately. But um, at least begin a newsletter, if not finish a newsletter to your subscribers. You can do that in about 10 minutes as well. Uh, next is to set up an ad or a promo. This is something else that I could do better at just personally as an author. There are lots of promos available and I just don't take advantage of half as many as I should. But it only takes about 10 minutes to set up an Amazon ad, to um, sign up for a book funnel, swap, you know, all those all those things that, that you learn about as you as you get into this industry and that I'm still learning about because I'm just still not that great at marketing <laughs> and and I'm still using you know just just paper to write down my ideas I regret nothing I'm more of an analog person anyway and then finally last one it's the weather is weird today so I apologize for the inconsistent lighting of this video but finally um, set up organization, something that has been really helpful for me and it's an evolving process is to set up organizations. So I have an Excel document that has different tabs that have all of the books that I've published, all of the formats, all of the ISBNs, all of the print and ebook information, <clears throat> as well as sales per year and um, across the years as well. That makes it sound like I'm <laughs> making money. <laughs> Au contraire. Uh, but my time will come. My time will come. <clears throat> I'm already selling more than, than I was before, which is exciting to see, but I'm also creating audiobooks and getting lots of covers and things that just end up costing a lot up front. Anyway, that is neither here nor there. That is not what we're talking about, but organizations. So you can do um, Excel spreadsheets to just have all of that information in one place. You can have all of your keywords in one place. That's something that um, I'm okay at doing, but I don't always remember to do to save like a metadata document. And so um, 10 minutes gives you enough time to create a metadata sort of document um, or a budget. If you have a particular amount that you can spend on a release, for example, then piecing that out into, okay, how much is the cover? How much is editing? How much is whatever it might be? So those are 
several things that you can do with only 10 minutes to forward your author career. I did a similar video for only five minutes on my other channel, English Nerd, so I will make sure to link that to this one. There are lots of other ways to use 10 minutes, so please put your ideas down below in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And um, I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Don't forget to subscribe for more writing, publishing, and indie author life content right here at Carly Stevens Books.